it's very important that there's plenty of oil on the various parts before you put it together. That gasket is just going to go on there with a little bit of grease on, that's all it needs. We need to know what, try and get it together. I'm quite sure what's stopping it. Can't be much because it's just a Hitting the hole, I think. <laughs> you want bastard features. Uh, that's it. Right, so that slits down there quite nicely. It's starting to look like an engine again. Right, nuts. That's who I'm no problem at all, I like it. Right, put some nuts on there, tighten that down. So I can put the windy gun on there. Make it spin round. I like it, really like it. I bought some new nuts. Quarter by itself just because of the they were available at the local nut and bolt place. It was quite interesting, I was talking to an old guy about Whitworth nuts and bolts, BSF nuts and bolts, and he said during the war years that they went down the spinner, the spinner size to save metal. So a quarter Whitworth nut was actually bigger across the flats, and then they made them smaller to save metal for the war effort. I don't suppose I'll have a socket on to put this together originally. Yeah, well, I'll make the gun. Bastard. Tighten things diagonally. We're going to just go around in a circle. Start at the you know, centre and work your way out over. That one's going to be a little bit awkward, there's not much clearance on that one. Certainly going together a lot easier as they come apart. I, mean, I think one there I'll have to fiddle with the note and then it's spanner. I could have grown a little bit of that case in a way if I remembered. But I'm sure it'll be alright. Right, I can't help but give it a little, a little whiz round. New Ireland, so that will do. Everything's nice and free and just as it should be. Really happy now. I put the split pins through the big end nuts and then we can turn our attention to the, the cylinder. Well, it looks a lot better than it did when we, when we first got it. I've never looked at the sun there since I knocked the piston out of it. There is some pitting in the bottom end of it. 
I've got a horn here, so I'm going to give it a light horn, see what it cleans up like. I've just laid stones on here, so it's basically just... Right, there's some marks in there. I'll give it a little bit more. And that stood with a piston stationary for such a long time. That's coming up not too bad. There is a mark there, I'm not going to get it perfect, but it'll certainly run. I'll give it a little bit more. Yeah, the board's cleaned up, not too bad. There's a black mark there, but it's, you can't actually feel anything. I'm not going to go to the extreme of holding that out. I need to clean this piston valve hole up a little bit because there's a lot of rust and crap in there as well. Just enough to polish it. Better. A lot better. Massive steam port in it. Absolutely massive. This is the actual spool valve or piston valve. It covers and uncovers the steam ports. I put a little dot mark on the top and I strip it so I know which way it goes. Again, that's its working position there and it feels absolutely fine. There's nothing the matter with that. Bring the camera in so you can see it waggling about. Right, so we're happy with that. We're reasonably happy with the bore. Other than reboring it, I've borne it out and put a liner in, and I'm soon not going to go to those lengths. There's nothing there that'll stop this engine from running. That's beautiful, that. Real nice fit in there. So this wants a good clean up now. And then basically we could put the this part on and it wouldn't be far off giving it a little try on a bit of steam. A few more joints to make and some studs to sort out. Where well, it's looking, it's looking not too bad, really. This is a tin cladding around the outside. It's held on by two with some screws in. The screws refuse to come out, so I'm just going to leave it. Nothing to be gained by damaging the, the screws, trying to get them off. That's a steam inlet port there where the governor fastens on to, but I can just put a flange on there with a pipe in for compressed air. And it wouldn't be far off making steam engine noises. This is real tin plate, which is 
thin steel cover and tin to stop it from rusting. I suppose the modern stuff will be galvanised. And I would think that that string on there will be asbestos. I don't want to be playing with that too much. Getting the piston into this ball is going to be difficult because there's a recess there so you can't use an ordinary ring clamp. I've made a ring clamp out of some parcel banding and I've put a step in it so it will actually go in there and it's touching the top of the ball proper there. Once again you need plenty of lubrication. This is steam oil on here. Well, the rings are nicely lubricated. Put the ring gaps 90 degrees to each other or 180 degrees to each other. Piston only goes one way, it's got a taper on. It sits on a taper on top of the piston rod. So it goes like that. Piston ring clamp. And some pointless pliers, I would imagine, will do the job. Right, so that drops down into the ball like that. Right, and that's in. Now I knew I haven't broke a ring because you can tell you'd have to hit it with a big hammer to break a ring. That's gone in quite nicely and I'm happy with that and it's even the right way up. Feel the range gripping. This engine hasn't even been ran, so it's that's one biggest obstacle out the road. That's a nice simple little little tool. They probably use something very similar at the factory to put it together. I'm really happy that that's gone into there like that. Really happy indeed. I've got a couple of joints to make, and then we can basically mount this on. It's cleaned up quite nicely. John's really happy now. Getting nearer and nearer and making noises. Very happy. I'm not happy I've celebrated and pinched one of the wipes in your date way. One of our old date towels. There she'll look mean. Right, so there's two joints to make and then we can get this mounted on. And it's getting pretty near to getting a bit of compressed air put through it. Has glands to pack and bits and pieces, but all the nasty bits. That was the, the last bit I was worrying about getting that piston into there, and it's in now. Very happy. I need to make two joints for the top and bottom of the cylinder. I've got some really good jointing paper here I got off Richard. Proper steam jointing paper. Unfortunately those two studs won't come out. Um, well they probably would a little bit of heat but I'm just going to leave them in. I don't want to start heating cylinder blocks up. Try and get a nice clean, clean hole. Right, 
Right. It doesn't work very well. These two holes aren't actually used. The cis gaskets for the bottom and the hole patterns are slightly different. All I need is the, the cylinder bore, that one in the bore cutting out for the where the valve goes. And the rest can be done. Come on John. You better this way, maybe it'll seal a little bit better. This gasket paper or this joint paper is designed for high pressure steam. Right, basically that's all I need. And that goes on top of the on top of the engine. 